remember when I used to say, hey guys, it's Sarah. That was obnoxious. So, welcome to another Ramble Ramble vlog where I don't really show you anything important or tell you anything awesome. But I'm gonna ramble to you because it's my YouTube channel and I can do that. So, I'm, on, I'm taking Oz on the, to school today. He's chosen to watch his iPad, so there's not much conversation. I'm drinking my ketones. That's another video for another day, although I don't want hate comments on that. Um, I, I don't really care about your opinion on that. I'm just telling you that I've been drinking them. I really enjoy it. I've only been doing one a day because cheap. But for maximum results, you're supposed to drink two a day. Um, that accompanied with my low carb or, you know, trying to do low carb. I don't know. I feel really good. I've been really, they're expensive. It's ridiculous. I've only been able to do it because I've been working. And I actually canceled my order for this month because I couldn't afford it. But I started it back up again in January. And then I found out the news I'm fixing to tell you. So I'm probably going to have to cancel. Not living my best life I can tell you that so I went to the doctor yesterday for my lady time visit which is once a year most of us know right um, but when I got there I was talking to her about the fact that I'm peeing on myself often and I ever since I've had Oz it's been an issue um, when I was pregnant with Edie like you know anytime I go to bend over or pee or I mean pee bend over or like pick something up you know I pee on myself no big deal both of my babies I carried very low for the last like four to five weeks. Now I was dilated pretty far along, pretty early um, with both. And, um, you know, I just lived in the birth canal for literally five weeks. And after I had him, I developed a keloid scar. I didn't heal quite right. And so I've always had some sort of pressure in my bottom half a lot. Anytime I start back trying to run or do any kind of vigorous exercise by like day three, and I'm pretty sure you guys have heard me talk about this before, my bottom side hurts. And I have mentioned that before. And I have, you know, talked to them in the past about a few things. Um, and I did have a little bit of a prolapse uterus. Um, last year, I remember talking to her about not being able to use a diva cup. Um, it just wasn't comfortable. And I tried, turned, 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 tried, and I'd read all directions. And they're like, you know, just keep trying. But the thing just wouldn't stay, like, immediately. It just would go, whoop. And she's like, yeah, the way your body shapes is probably really hard, blah, 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 prolapse uterus, blah, blah, blah. Well, I go in, and I'm talking to her, and I'm like, you know, I'm having this issue, and it's gotten really bad. And I was telling her about Friday on my birthday, you know, we'd gotten really tickled about something, and I peed on myself a little bit. And I knew I had to pee. A lot of times it happens, that I'm like, I didn't even know I had to pee. Sorry if you're a boy, and you're watching this video. Also, sorry to my husband, because yeah, I'm sure he is also going to watch this video. And, um, I'm just going into a lot of detail, but I'm going to share because it's my journey and I can do so. So, this was just one example. A lot of times I don't even know. Like, I'll just pee on myself and I don't even know I had to pee. A couple weeks ago when we had the coughs, it was really bad. Like, I peed on myself so much, so much. And I don't wear a pad every day. I probably sh should. I don't leak every I don't, I don't know. It's very, very often. And I'll be honest, I don't enjoy peeing on myself. But the pressure feeling I have so often is worse than peeing on myself. I mean, it's not fun. It's not fun. Hear me out. But anyways. But I feel that feeling so often that I kind of just convinced myself that was normal. You know, a lot of times, like, tampons aren't comfortable. Again, stuff I thought was just normal. Like, these are all thoughts I'm having afterwards, right? And... You know, my, the pressure in my bottom has gotten significantly un, not fun during, you know, lady time, um, sometimes during ovulation. You know, it's not unusual for, like, the top half of my legs down to my knees to ache. Again, all things I've just kind of dealt with. So... Um, you know, she's like, well, you know, we can give you medicine for that. And that's probably where we'll start. And she's like, and then later on, you know, if this just continues to get worse, we can do some surgery. And I was like, okay, you know, and I'm just talking about peeing on myself. And I was using the example of Friday. I peed on myself a little bit. We were laughing. I got up. We were laughing. Um, and I had had a glass of um, wine because it was my birthday. And 
but I was laughing and stuff and I went to stand up and I was gonna go to the bathroom and I was laughing and I peed and I peed everywhere everywhere all over my clothes all over my hand because I was trying to stop the pee all over the floor now that was extreme and that doesn't happen a lot but it has happened a lot since like October-ish <laughs> September-ish August-ish that happens way more than it should never happen right So anyways, she checks my boobs and it turns out you have to have a mammogram once a year now. I gotta hurry because I'm gonna be taking up too much time. You gotta have a mammogram once a year now after you turn 40. Didn't know that. I thought it was every like three to five. False, once a year. That I gotta do. There was also a couple lumps. I'm sure they're no big deal. I gotta have a mammogram anyways, whatever. So she, um, I scoot down to the edge of the table and she sticks the speculum in and she goes, you know what, Sarah? I changed my mind. You absolutely need surgery. And then she sticks another speculum in, which I didn't know what she was doing at the time. So apparently all of my parts are falling out. My bladder, my rectum, and my uterus. And she had to change speculums because she had to actually move my bladder out of the way to get to where she needed to go. Right? Good times there. Um, and so then she started asking me all these questions like, well, what is, you know, this is really bad. What is the difference between, I don't remember being this bad before. What's the difference between this year and last year? And like, we're talking, she's like, you move furniture? I'm like, yeah. She's like, do you pick up your kid? I'm like, yeah. She's like, well, how much do you weigh? I was like, 35 pounds. I didn't tell her I pick up us. But I mean, like, I pick up lots of kids. I pick up lots of things that are heavy. Like, I didn't. And I said, well, I'll be honest. I, I mean, nothing that I know of has really majorly changed. I said, and here's the other thing. I said, if it was something that I picked up that was super heavy, I said, would I have not known? Like I said, would I have been like super sore the next day? Would I have feel, you know, different? I think she said no. I can't remember. There was a lot. She tried to explain to me with her hands and doing her fist and her other arm, like swinging around. It was a lot. It was a whole lot. And then she starts telling me that, you know, the surgery and what happens and I have to spend the night and then I will have to have a hysterectomy. And a hysterectomy I glossed over. And so she's just talking, talking, talking. I never got upset, I never cried, but I'm just in my mind going, what? And so when she left, I was like, can you please write those words down on a piece of paper? She's like, yeah, but if you ask them, they can give you the information up front. You know, our, the, the visit outline. And I was like, okay. Um, so it's a lot, it's a lot. So I went in yesterday being like, hey, I'm peeing on myself a little too. You need surgery now. So we're gonna wait the first of the year that's my hope anyways I go back and see she's so the girl I see regularly is a nurse practitioner I will see the OBGYN and the surgeon she's the same person um, in two weeks and um, schedule surgery and talk about all the things I'll have to be out of work and out of commission for six to eight weeks we're almost there and I just was not anticipating that for 2021. And there's all these things I had lined up. There's all this money that I'm already planning on spending. And um, yeah, so I'm I'm a little in my feels about all the things and I just didn't know that that's where it was going. So I'll know more in two weeks. You guys will still be here for that if I'm continuing to do Vlogmas, which hopefully I am. And that's all I got for the day. I just am still kind of in gloss over shock mode and I just keep thinking I can't be off work I have a two year old and I said that to Bree or I can't be out of commission for eight weeks I have a two year old in which to Bree says yeah but she's fixing to be three yep I have a three year old and a six year old anyways love you guys thanks for always sticking around and I will see you tomorrow